Hey everybody, this is Doc Keck, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X National. In the last episode, you and Seymour got married. That's kind of creepy. Alright. Uh, as I said before, uh, there's an Albert primary right here. You do not want to miss it, otherwise you can have to play a new game to get it, to my knowledge. I don't know if you can get it somewhere else or not, but that one has caused a lot of people to play a new game. Okay. And uh, this is the trial I hate the most. It's very annoying, so I don't even know if I remember how to do this damn thing. The good news is that uh, you cannot pass this trial without getting the um the treasure, so you don't have to do this once. I mean, you can't come back here anyway, so you automatically get the uh, the, the um the special treasure when you uh, enter this um this trial because you can't exit without getting it. <laughs> so that's that's the good news. Now I might be here for a minute. Remembering how to pass the damn thing, cause this this is very annoying. Ooh, I can't. I hate this trial. It's so aggravating. Ooh, ooh, sorry, I dozed off a minute ago. All right, let's see here. Whoa, you don't want to go down there. I mean, I I remember how I remember how this thing works, but I'm just trying to remember which way to go. All right. Was I supposed to take this or something? Yeah. Bing! All right. Let's see here. Just give me a minute. It'll 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 come back to me after I, after I stay here for a few minutes. But let me see. I might edit some of this stuff out depending on how it comes out. Okay. Just take one of these and put it in here, I think. Alright, that makes another one of those um, magic moving things appear down there, apparently. I hate this music! Ugh. Uh Alright, let's see here. Hmm. Oh boy, I hate this level so much. Let's see here. Hmm. Too bad I can't look. Just where I wanna go. Let's go down. I don't think I can go here yet. If I can't go here, it's gonna it's gonna bounce all the magnet back up. Oh. oh I can, okay. Yeah, I need that. <laughs> okay, this is all just luck because I, I I really don't remember how I do this. It's just I'm I'm I just happen to be going the right way right now. I guess I can not remember some of it, but I really don't remember this trial. Ironically, uh, the last trial in the game is the easiest one. I mean, it's common knowledge how to pass that damn thing. Alright, uh, we want to go right, I know. Now, if I remember correctly, you have to... You want to get this one first the second one first I think mm, no I can't do nothing with that actually let me see that's a a this fear mmm did I do that right I think I need to put the distress sphere there but I know I gotta move this so Okay, I'm probably gonna be falling off here and going back to let's see here. Nope. Oh. Ah.
Give me a break. Okay, that's right. Uh, there's a certain time when you're actually supposed to go here. Okay. I do remember this much. Uh, it's gonna get very annoying when you um pass those arrows and they keep and, and, and you keep falling off. You have to um. I can't go here yet. Can I? You have to um look look at the arrow above and and it's it's kind of hard to explain. You need to um, go forward when the arrow is um, facing the other way. I can't go here yet, can I? Nope. I gotta go to the end and put that that. Um, I'll try to explain it better when I um when I get back to it, cause I trust me, it's very annoying when you um when you keep falling off and having to go back to the beginning. I'll explain it better next time I go there. If I can pause the game, it'll, it'll make it even better. He's moving out of Magus, so I can't explain it here. So, yeah, I'm gonna fall off here. No, I'm not. Okay. I forgot. I, is it too much I can do here? Because this doesn't go here, does it? You set the guess for you? No, that doesn't go there. Damn it! See why I hate this trap? <laughs> I gotta go all the way back. Let's see here. Mm, I can't put three in those. Mm. I gotta put I gotta put one of these in here. But no, my hands are full. You got two hands, dude. Come on, that doesn't make any damn sense. I gotta put one of those uh, blue shiny ones in there, not this uh, not this green one. So anyway, that's okay. I gotta do it all again, but that's good because I, I need I need to explain this. Uh, a lot of people um have have a hard time with this because all right, see right there, the first arrow there is pointing to the right. That's if if you want to go that way, that's when you need to um press the confirm button. Now, see the arrow is pressing forward now. So now I'm gonna so now when he gets to that square, he's gonna pass it. Watch. All right, I pressed the confirm button, so now he's gonna pass it. Now I have actually no chance. I have no chance of going that way, cause by the time I get there, see, he passed it. However, this one, I can go on the right. It's it's kind of hard to explain, but you'll figure it out. When that first arrow is pointing is pointing up, the second arrow is pointing to the right, and the third arrow is pointing up again. It's 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 hard to explain, but you'll figure it out. All right, let me just go ahead and uh, no, I need that in so I can uh, move it. I should have went to the last one first instead of going to the second one. That's what I should have did. I'm uh, probably gonna be falling off here. Let me see. Nope. I kept pressing the button, so he was moving slow, so I got out of that mess. All right, let's try this again. Come on, give me the. Thank you. All right. Now I gotta go back and get that other um. The one I just had, I gotta go back and get it and put it over there. <laughs> Tell you, man, this, this child's annoying. Off we go. Alright. So now I need to go to the second one again. I need to I need to choose the confirm button when that when when that arrow up above is is facing forward. That's why I need to, that's why I need to choose the confirm button. It's facing right this time. So when the area I'm standing on is facing forward next time, that one's that one's gonna be facing on facing on 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 the up, and that's when I need to go. All right. See, the area the area above me is facing up. So when I get to this one in the middle, it'll be perfect. See that? You figure it out. I do remember that much because I. 
when I first played the game, I fell off that thing like 50 times. It was really getting annoying. So I do remember that much. And I think this whole trial just came back to me now that I think about it. I was afraid I was gonna be here in 30 minutes, but I'll be, I'll be out here. In a, I'll be out here real soon. Uh. All right, I want to go to the third one now, so I need to press it right here. When that arrow above me is fixing right. There we go. See that? Yeah, you figure it out. I'll just be taking this. Alright. You put this one in here. And it makes way for the destruction sphere. Alright. And now I gotta go back to the second platform, of course. But uh, you might want to grab this while you're at it. Alright, because we don't need to go there anymore. So let's take this, uh... Let's take this one with us. You don't need to do this, but... Kind of like a, kind of like a, a reverse, um... A reverse, um, thing here. I tell you, you, you have to get the, um... Let's see here. You have to get the special treasure to um to, to pass this level, but there's a regular treasure that that's missable. That's kind of funny. Oh crap! I should not have done that. Damn it! Okay, I'm going to edit this out. I got to, um, because I can't put it in there because my hands are full. All right. I'm going to edit this out. I'll be right back. I hope you are, I hope you guys are learning uh, from, from my mistakes here so you won't be in here as long as I'm in here. All right, let's see here. What you need to do is, um, before grabbing that, go ahead and uh, put that purple one in the on the second platform then come back and get this one that's what you need to do <laughs> yep. all right All right. You put the perfect one here first. See, that's that's the distress field. You have to get that to pass the level, so you will get the special treasure. But that's kind of odd. Now, before before going uh, back to the beginning, but well, not the beginning. The before going down that platform again, you want to um. You don't have to, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to go back to this one. There we go. Keep pressing the button right there and you'll, you'll go there without falling off most of the time. Okay, you want to get this. And put it in here. It, you don't have to do this, but if, if, you, want a, if you want a good treasure, then you might want, you might want to do that. Okay, and now we want to go. Let's see. Oh crap! Did that wrong. Damn it! I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna fall off here. Oh! I kept pressing the button. Okay, I just learned something. I kept pressing the button, hoping I would, I would 
hit that platform before I fell off, but it's still easy if, if you just do it the other way. Oh well. Okay, now we can go for it. Going up. Okay, now how are we gonna get that upstairs? Uh, Nasty, you just uh. Now here's the here's the distress sphere right here. See, I didn't press that, but he did that automatically. That's the chest. That's the chest you get for the distress sphere. You have to get that. But before you continue, you wanna bring this up and take these right here. Come on now. There you go. I think you need one in here and one. I think you need one in here and one in here in order to, in order for you to go on. I'm not sure. You you might you might only need one, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that you need both of these. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me. Pretty sure you need both of them up here to to go on for it. So this is the real special treasure right here, Night Lance. Uh, it's okay, but you know. I guess I really didn't need that. It's for Kamari. It's alright. I but I end up selling it real soon, so. And that's it, I gotta take my souvenir. Alright. And uh the rest of this episode is gonna be that long cutscene with the trial, so um unless you wanna unless you wanna Yuna? Inside maybe? Then what are we standing here for? Stuff your taboos! Hey! You can stuff your taboos! <laughs> yeah, T's like, screw the rules right now, man. But Vail is screwing us, man. I'm like, he like, screw the rules. <laughs> That's a strong muscle. Hey, that face looks familiar, doesn't it? That little runt from the beginning of the game, yeah. What's that? A faith. They join with the summit. How'd you get in there? And together receive the Aeon. They're human souls, imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. The dead should be allowed to rest. Yuna! So that's why you be so worn every time you come out of these places. I was saying uh, the, the rest of this episode is a, is a long cut scene and our oh Bahamut uh, actually Bahamut's a cool name anyway I was saying uh, the rest of the rest of this episode is a long cut scene I, I'd rather just go ahead and put it on this one so I can get out the way because if I would put it on another part it'll probably feel that entire episode so unless you want unless you want to see uh, this cut scene just go ahead and skip to the next episode all right It's 
a good thing. The High Court of Yevon is now in session. It's a good thing I'm not limited to 10 minutes yet. <laughs> The sacred officers of this court seek nothing but absolute truth in Yevon's name. To those on trial, believe in Yevon and speak only the truth. Maester Kelk Ronso. Summoner Yuna. You have sworn to protect the people of Yevon, true? Yes. Then consider. You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour Guado. Conspired with the Albed and joined in their insurrection. These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes that disturb the order of Yevon. Tell this court what possessed you to participate in such violence. Your Grace. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. He killed his father Jiskel with his own hands. What is this? Hmm? Hadn't you heard? Not only that, Maester Seymour is already dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed to the Far Plain. Yuna was only doing her job as a summoner. Grand Maester Micah, please send Seymour now. Send the unsent to where they belong? Yes. <laughs> Maester? Send the dead? Hmm? Uh. You would have to send me too. Grand Maester Micah is a wise leader. Even in death, he is invaluable to Spira. <laughs> Enlightened rule by the dead is preferable to the misguided failures of the living. Life is but a passing dream, but the death that follows is eternal. Men die, beasts die, trees die, even continents perish. Only the power of death truly commands in spirit. Resisting its power is futile. But what of sin? I am a summoner, my lord, like my father before me. I am on a pilgrimage to stop the death that sin brings. Are you... Are you telling me that too is futile? Grand Maester Micah, I am not alone. All the people who have opposed sin, their battles, their sacrifices, were they all in vain? <laughs> not in vain. No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. Their rebirth cannot be stopped. Yet the courage of those who fight gives the people hope. There is nothing futile in the life and death of a summoner. Never futile, but never ending. Hmm. Indeed, that is the essence of heaven. is embodied by eternal, unchanging continuity, Summoner. No. That can't be right! Those who question these truths, they are traitors. 
Lord Micah! your breath. Man, I hope Yuna's okay. Hmm. She's strong. She'll make it. She'll make it? What, so she can die? Mm, popcorn. <sighs> Why is it everything in Spira seems to revolve around people dying? Ah, the spiral of death. Huh? Summoners challenge the bringer of death, sin, and die doing so. Guardians give their lives to protect their summoner. The faith are the souls of the dead. Even the maesters of Yevon are unsent. Spira is full of death. Only sin is reborn, and then only to bring more death. It is a cycle of death, spiraling endlessly. <sighs> Come out. Your sentence has been decided. Sentence? Don't you mean execution? <laughs> really now? What person would execute a dear friend? You would. Looks like you're next. Uh, next for what? <clears throat> Get going. Where's everybody else? Floating down there somewhere, maybe? What's our sentence? I think they expect us to give up and die down here. Oh, well that's a lame way to kill someone. Where's Uni? I don't know. Wonder if we should wait for her. Hmm. Let's wait at the exit. If there is an exit. How fares the Ranso Maester? It seems my father's murder troubles him. <laughs> Ever the Ranso. Hard headed, hardly useful. However, the summoner Yuna, daughter to High Summoner Braska. She may be of some use to us, alive. She has disturbed the order of Yevin. She cannot be allowed to live. I understand. Let it go, Seymour. No one thrown into the Via Purifico has ever survived. Yet there is always a small chance that they might. Place guards at the exit. Kill any who emerge. Sir, leave that to me. Oh. First your father, now your bride. Allow me to do this because she is my bride. Wait, I will go too. You do not trust me? Would you trust a man who murdered his father? 
Very well. As you wish. Lady Yuna, forgive me. I can't believe you guys are still here watching this. That's just... Oh well. Some people like cutscenes, some people don't. Okay. Alright, we're gonna end this thing right here. Stay tuned for the next episode.